Well, after all that, the New York Jets and Mike LaFleur have parted ways. <laughs> what a wild, wild day. Mike LaFleur is no longer the offensive coordinator of the New York Jets as the Jets are allowing Mike LaFleur to pursue other opportunities. Is that just a nice way of saying that he's fired? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, before we get started today, follow me on social media, Matt O'Leary and why also the Just Jets podcast. New episodes drop every single Wednesday. So according to multiple reports, Mike LaFleur is out. Uh, but it sounds like that the New York Jets and him kind of mutually decided to go different ways. Apparently, according to Connor uh, Hughes, several teams have reached out to the Jets about LaFleur. The Jets spoke to LaFleur over the last few days and have allowed him to pursue these opportunities. The Jets will begin a search for a new OC tomorrow. The Jets were planning to bring back Mike LaFleur as their offensive coordinator in 23. Several other teams reached out. The Jets talked to LaFleur. After that discussion, they agreed to let him pursue those opportunities. So did LaFleur leave on his own? That's such a bizarre way. Just, I, I don't get it. So now the Jets are going to pursue uh, another offensive coordinator with a very uncertain quarterback situation so we'll see what they decide to do at quarterback and offensive coordinator going forward I think Frank Reich is someone who would be very very high up on that list but what we do know is that Mike LaFleur and Robert Sala were obviously very very close so seeing him go after two years a little bit surprising but could be for the best uh, I would imagine that LaFleur probably goes back to either San Francisco or joins his brother out in Green Bay that would be my guess uh, I, I kind of see both sides of this one because on the one hand, the very bad, they didn't score a touchdown over the last three weeks of the year. That's unacceptable. But they also were an incredible offense with Mike White and Josh Johnson leading the way. So there were some really nice moments and then there were some really terrible, terrible moments. I don't think you could say that he was an abject failure. I don't think you could say he was great. Just, I guess, just didn't work out. So now the list of who the Jets should hire as offensive coordinator is going to grow. We're going to talk about that more in detail tomorrow, but just wanted to get my thoughts out right now on uh, the New York Jets decision or Mike LaFleur's decision, depending on what you believe, to move on and mutually part ways. So that's it. Sound off below. I'm Matt. I'll talk to you next time.